the lands of Zara. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the drow elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you, too. You shall die by my warhammer, Drow Elf. Nuh-uh. I banish thee to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Ha-ha! You can't hold out much longer. Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. <laughs> My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Did I Colorado? The Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Welcome! to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class, fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. 
A mage is like a wizard. A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like... You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white thief? A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Mage. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Hear that there's a... Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. That all you got? Oh my God, it's butters all over again. Okay, look, try putting your back into it at the last possible moment. Oh! Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Ah! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Suck it. No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. Yeah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde! Fucking asshole! I'm the king, and I say it's PP! Douchebag, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Dick. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. That smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This is unblockable. Ugh. Didn't count. I dodged that. Ah. You were all like, bam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, drow elf! Come and get it! Clyde! Guard the Stick of Truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! What are you looking at, pussy? Ugh. Ugh. Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! 
We still control the universe. <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Welcome to Tweak Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? <laughs> Not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> What's this? Huh? Now? The guys need me now? Oh, there's no way, man. There's way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You got the envelope? Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Oh, boy, bad guys! Are you going to arrest me or what? Ah! 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 Feel my righteous fury! Ah! 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 Doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. I wonder if it's a healing potion. Where are your parents? You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded, like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak land, made with ingredients from local Tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. What the fuck? Oh, no! We will kill him with compassion! Ow! Oh! Move! Oh! 
long. I really feel sad for him. Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elves took the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. We better get to the other guy's food. Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, oh, did Baby lose her toy? Who is this? Feed a kid if you know it's good for you. I don't think I like you very much. Douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the... Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah. Where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again. Oh, my God. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man. Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble. Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take. You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. <laughs> welcome to our base. All are welcome here. Even though at first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey. Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> Could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Douchebag, that was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Go, 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 go. Okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's balls. Okay, seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Craig, Craig, this is detention. Okay, stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. 
Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention. Now start doing your homework. Good, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. You are in reach of school law and must be punished! Ah, shit! Oh, God damn it. Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in 10 minutes. More officers down. We're taking heavy casualties out here. Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around. He's got the brass key. He's some kind of dragonborn. Now look, this is detention time. Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. And besides, he's never gonna get inside here because to open the door, you need the gold key. And the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has a brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. There were too many of them. They were too strong. Their hair, too red. Maybe you could take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackey's prisoners. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly fourth is authorized. Arr! Busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. 
To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. But now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Uh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cuff a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cuff the magic and throw it at your opponent. Yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malgerton! Malgerton, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't touch it, it's gonna be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try to new move. I'm guys! Now, Douchebag, cup and spell! <laughs> come on, <laughs> yeah, Douchebag, you let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. Go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! There it is. The inn of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters! Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The end of the Giggling Donkey harbors the scum of all Zaron. A glass of meadle wine, please. No meadle wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kinney and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? I think I hear him. <laughs> Hello? Humans, I am a level 10 bard, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Mad magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Mad magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. Mad magical songs of enchantment. With magical songs of enchantment. 
Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. With magical songs of enchantment. Mag magical songs of enchantment. Me, me. Magical songs of enchantment. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. who is also your mom. Sometimes my dad goes on road trips just to check out all the rest stops. was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she swallow. Get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. 
You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe. And I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, uh, can he do that? He has a stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. You've nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your d- and fulfill your d-d-d-d. Step forward now and fulfill your d- Step forward now and fulfill your d Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your d Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your d Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your d Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your day. Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your day. Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a grand wizard. The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you. Fine. You want to throw down, bro? Kick his ass, douchebag. Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard. Wow, what a terrific target. Sleep now, the whippoorwills are d dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Set them up and knock them down. On me. This will be my greatest performance. Set him up, knock him down. <laughs> you sw swine shagger. <laughs> that all you got? Stay still. Close your eyes, no more thinking about, thinking about the troubles. Sleep now with Jesus, for you are blessed. Wow, what a terrific... Uh, eh, eh, hot, 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 hot. Yes. This will be my greatest performance. Wow, what a terrific card. The 
stick of truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the Great Battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom, thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed and I'll be there to say goodnight. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. I'm having the dream again. Okay, this is dreaming. What's happening? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! Wow, look at that! You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with your sphincter muscles. Pretty cool. I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. You're there! See if you can- Keep going, I think you're onto something! I knew I could trust you, keep it up! Uh, I'm still stuck, better try the other console. There! I think that- ah! Oh! You gotta be close! Come on, try again! Ah, oh, no, okay! Next time's gotta be the turn! Give it all you got! See, I... You've got to keep trying! I believe in you!
Okay, that one doesn't work either. Head back towards the elevator. Moo, moo. 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 Moo, 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 moo. Use this panel here and we can all go home. Oh, oh, oh you did it! Oh, thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again! Thank <laughs> you. 
Move! 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 Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. A large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Aw, oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. 
Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time and you might as well skip it and just come with us. You chose wisely, new kid. Come with us. So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carbon's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. Oh joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress. It's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and take this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on! on. Let's go! Come on! Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. Uh. 
Key, ya! Yeah. You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <laughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. No, you're not forming it right. Imagine you're chewing bubblegum with your butthole. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Kia! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. Simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it gonna be a full menu Taco Bell or is this gonna be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Enchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Enchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. <laughs> Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have the roof it on! Ah! What's this? 
It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Set charges underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see... Ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Nice. I'll send it to you. Ah, you have returned. Come, sir douchebag. It is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete. Climb the signal tower, sir douchebag. Call forth your new recruits. Everyone gather about! While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, sir douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Sir douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, thirdborn of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee, Commander Douchebag! with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Eric! Eric! We know where the elves are hiding their stick! What? Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter! You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Uh, right, we, we shot down their Raven, and the evil elf king is, is hidden a stick inside his desk at school! Of course! Kyle hid it in his desk! Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick! I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood! Huzzah! Defenders of freedom! I thank you for your courage and your audacities! in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The humans are here! Ooh, they blew their horn. Blow ours, butters. Guys, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. This is here, new kid. Let's see you handle both of us. Got him! Let's see how you like dealing with me! <laughs> 
problem. Ah! Eh, fucking dumbass. Away from the desk, Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar. All right, Cal, you fucking asked for it. Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New kid, Carmen is using you. Can't you see it? He's a manipulator. You're just jealous because the new kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal. You've got one last chance, new kid. Turn around and fight Cartman instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, new kid. Attack him now. Make him shut up. It's not me you should be fighting. It's him. So pick a side. Kick his ass, bag. I can't believe this is even a choice. Think fine! You're gonna be sorry, new kid! Don't you know who you're dealing with? Just leave me alone! <laughs> you think you can tangle with me? Wait a minute. Our desks don't have insides. What? Desks at this school just have tabletops. No, but but Twitter said that... Look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. Greetings, humans at Drow Elves of Zarod. Clyde! He took the stick! While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! I shall raise an entire army of darkness and kill the Earth! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth! Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad, I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, and my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms, and strip both kings of all their power! <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde! You're lost in time and space! No, I'm not! Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness! Defend the fortress! Greg! Greg, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it, I have fucking authority! 
Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. <laughs> There you are! We've been looking all over for you! You are grounded, mister! You march right on home and go to sleep! Now I want you to go to bed and think about what you've done. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. <sighs> 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 See me in the panties. Magic, bitch! Fuck me! Ah! Fucking cocksucker! Such 
upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell it, butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elf isn't gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. 
If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes, yeah, that's that's right, right, right away. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yeah. 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 What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. What was it like in there? Is their technology more advanced than ours? You should head over to the park. Monica... Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! with girl power. Are you sure you want to wear that? You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hi, guys. hi. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. 
awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. I'll wait right here. Don't forget... Access restricted to physicians only. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. <laughs> 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 What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, doctor? Tee -hee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear Every animal, big or small Phew! Christmas means Ow, my balls. so much to my us all balls. My balls! My balls! My, my favorite Christmas shopping malls! I'll close at five, Doctor! Can we please get this over with quickly? it happens once a year It's once a year at Christmas time Oh, that's cold! That's cold! We hear about this is about Christmas as wide as I can get, comes. Doctor! <laughs> once okay, a okay, do it! I'm ready! Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch the balls. Oh god, it's snagged. Get it off, get it off! I told you that thing isn't a doctor! Fry it! I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor? Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! Christmas time is once a year. Phew. Every crib. Ow, my balls! My balls! My Every malls! My, my favorite shopping malls! Small. I'll close at five, Doctor. Can we Christmas please get this over with quickly? So much to us all. It's once oh, a year. that's cold! That's it's cold! Christmas time. This is about as wide as I can get, and Doctor. It happens once a year. Okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. It's once a year at Christmas time. When we hear about how Christmas only comes. Oh, boy! Once a year. Oh god, it's snagged! Oh god, it's snagged! He did it! Alright, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Ah, uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. What the hell is that? He's in Deutschland! Stay good! Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. Blood? That's it! That's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! Oh, Christ, what a pickle!
New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Thank fems on sabi un What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or You know what, just take, take the pants off, too. Okay, that's good. Really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! I hope you fellas don't get angry and that I have to smite you. Ah! 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 That shows him right. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. 
Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. By Jove, you've done it. Look at all these dire bear pelts. Now I can finally make a dire robe. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! The Prince thinks Canada is a monarchy! But there's other people with opinions, by God! What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Wiener, bastard, weirdo, not very cute, ginger, ball shucker, shit, sandy banana. Fuck that! Ah! 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 Remember the golden rule. Alcoholic, steak, whore, boo crap. Piece of crap! Whore! Lamo! Foisted! Fashion Conan! Love thy neighbor! He knows not what he does! Kick ass! Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Ah! Yes, awesome work with the bars. You think the prince will let us keep them? Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. 
Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. Who are you? What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> oh, now you know! Those ones hurt, huh? <laughs> what is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> oh, now you know! No! <laughs> 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 wow. He knows Dragon Shout. Any magician's apprentice can Dragon Shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. Jesus, <laughs> you smell. My God, he can cup a spell. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fares? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now you try! Believe in yourself! No, 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 you call that a fart! You must focus harder, and push harder, too. Think of your anus muscles as a puckering kiss. Pucker, pucker. Here, watch again. Now you try. Believe in yourself. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh. Ne vous besoin de collections traduites? Okay. C'est là, c'est traduit par c'est là, c'est là, c'est traduit par c'est là. Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced but Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Everyone listen up! The girls have agreed to fight by our side! Huzzah! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clatan! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God 
fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare, ready, and let's be the plan. Come on, now's our only chance. Aha, you're trapped. I'm a level 14 thief and the Dark Lord's chief assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck. Can you get me in? My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Huh? I should have started this sooner. <laughs> Those ones hurt, huh? We got six. We still have two Nazi cow minions. <laughs> You're gonna get it, Greg. Fucking this shit even things up. Hey, no fair, guys. I can't let this thing go. Just hold on till I'm done. <laughs> now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord's chief assassin and a cow. Fucking weak, dude. Why fight one Craig when you could fight five? I'm immune to splash damage, Clyde said. Yeah. I really found myself relating to Clyde's views about darkness and enslaving the world. Trader is awesome. You guys are missing out. Goodbye. Quit it, quit it, quit it. Uh, God damn it, no! Uh, <laughs> no more. Why fight one Craig when you could fight five? Uh. 
Let's rumble. Tackle? Goodbye. Let's rumble. Yeah. Let's rumble. Let's rumble. Quit it. <laughs> Stop. what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! We can't just pull it out. Snooks have triggers on them. We have to abort it from inside. Oh, come on. Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Oh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could it be? Let me think. It seems like it'd be easy to find- Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises! Quick, get up there and disarm the snook! Hurry! Oh, be careful! I might have also put some bats up there the other night! New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die! The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter! Make haste to the large intestine! All will be made clear to you then. I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. To victory! <laughs> Wings journeyed a distance far and fast To find his way out of a game and ass The road ahead is filled with danger and fright But push onward, Lemmy Wings, with all of your might It's time to Friday! The Sparrow Prince lies somewhere ah, in the Don't look back, Lemmy Wings, or you'll be dead 
Jewish woman's boobs. Sin, I, sin. Take the magic and the torch. There's still a lot of ground to cross inside the man so gay. Ahead of you lies adventure, and your strength still lies within. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Wings has made it out the tail. What's some of this? Oh, hey. Hey. Get out the church, man. Read me, man. Hey. 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 There's still so many enemies and battles yet to fight. For Lemmy Winks, the gerbil king, we want some of this. Ah! Kein Gierdische Vorgesetz! Uh-huh! What? Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, gerbil king. Oh! Lemmy Winks journeyed a distance far and fast. Yeah! To find his way out. Ah! The road ahead is filled with danger and pride. Well Push done, no kid. I said. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. <sighs> I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Hey! I want this by the yeah. Ah! 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 
Nhanh 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 đi cả gì? Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the Stomach's Cove. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata Fish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Ah. Every critter holds it cold. In. So cold. Every Danger. Abortion access slip stress. Abortion access slip dilated. So Initiate control so chip removal. It's once a year. It's Christmas time. And it has Wrong chip. Wrong chip. Ow. It's once a year. It's Christmas time. Not that. I needed that. We hear about how Christmas only Wrong comes. chip. Self destruction sequence year. aborted. What is it, Mr. Slade? What are you feeling? Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. Fools. You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde, you have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman! Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! This all makes sweet love. Don't forget to tip your serving winch. All right, Dicko, time for you to pay.
down, bruh. Ow! Want some of this? It's No, no. I'm sorry, boys. Oh shit, he's back again! Damn it! Lightning boat! Salter again, Harris! Going down, bruh. Damn it, I brought you back to life. Kill these assholes. God damn. Hey, I raised you from the dead. You have to obey. Obey me. No, no. I'm sorry, boys. Oh shit, he's back again! <laughs> Children, everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! <laughs> burn them! Burn them all! Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what, I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time! Ah! <laughs> we did it, dude! That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds, and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations! Quickly! Now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do... We've got him! We've got the Dragonborn! Dragonborn? What the... Who, what? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovakin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. 
Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the state controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ha! Ah, 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 ah. Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> <gasps> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted all this time to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the stick of truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Princess Kinney, come back here! Give us a stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. Ooh, <laughs> 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 
The whipper wheels are de dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific audience! Wow, what a terrific target! Use your rainbow Ooh. attack, Princess Kitty. <laughs> Warm up the crib. There once was a maiden from st 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 
Sto Sto from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she swoop. Boy did she swallow. I had a nice lunch that she said say. set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what a terrific audience. Hit them with the zombie vomit! <laughs> Check this out. Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Kitty! No! Where are you going with Princess Kitty's rat, Samuel? Y you sure that is? Ooh, I better ca catch my breath. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! DJ! Let's see how you like dealing with me! Hit them with the zombie vomit! Feel my righteous fury! Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, hamburgers! <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty! Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? How can this be? Well, that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Hooray, King Newsbane! <laughs> Hit them with the zombie vomit! Hey, 
Here comes a piña. For Yes, drink your goo, Princess Kitty. You'll be invincible. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Lucky shot, but no matter. Princess Kitty still has lots of tricks up her puppy sleeves. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. You better go on without me. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! For all the fool! The princess is magic! It's so pretty! Hit them with the zombie vomit! You hit like my grandpa! Princess Kinney, call upon your beautiful Nazi unicorn! Shit, stupid fucking unicorn! My sword has got a cramp. I need a minute. Shit, I guess I'm the only hope. All right, it's you and me now, douchebag, for the fate of humanity. All right, dickhole, time for you to pay. Vomit. Hey, Vagina, lame-o, shut up, whore, ginger, foo crap, 
Fuck me! Fucking goddamn fuck! Fat bitch! Fat bitch! Hold it! Fuck you! Fuck you! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! For all the soul! Dick face! Skank! Asshole! Not very c- Hate you! Shit! Scribble de- Fuck you! Christian! Bastard! Greasy puke! Hit them with the zombie vomit! She doesn't stay dead, we can't beat her! Two, we're fucked! There's no way! There is one way! We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code! What? Cartman, you can't possibly mean- What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you to break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kitty's boss, King Douchebag! Do it! Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kitty's boss! What about the gentleman's oath? What? We're back to normal. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag! What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick.